So a little while back, Crunchyroll dropped a new game on the App Store. Now, this is a game that is fully published by Crunchyroll, and by God, they have made sure that everyone knows that Crunchyroll made this. They put their logo on it. It is on, like, the top of the App Store. This game is all over Crunchyroll's website, and I am not a mobile gamer. I, I don't play mobile games, like, literally at all. I, I play Miku Tap, a, a, a simplistic game where Miku dances and jumps up and down while I have a macro installed on Bluestacks so that I don't actually play it. I just enjoy happy music in the background, I guess. But that's about as far as I really go in terms of mobile games. But either way, I loaded up Bluestacks. I got the game set up, ready to go. Uh, if you don't know what Bluestacks is, by the way, it's some type of mobile game emulator. Um, I can already feel mentally deep down inside. I've already began to judge myself for even installing this game in the first place, and you will learn why. Upon starting the game up, I'm greeted by them asking my name. The original name they had set was something called Vault, for whatever reason. I yeah, I, as the degenerate that I am, I quickly erased that name and changed it to Miku Sim, feeling much more relieved knowing that now I shall finally be called what I truly am deep inside. We learn that the main character's name is also Lilo, which is possibly the strangest vampire schoolgirl name that I have possibly ever seen in my entire life. I mean, did they steal their, did they steal her name from Lilo and Stitch? Like, why Lilo? I don't, I don't understand. I don't really have any real issue with the name Lilo. I mean, it's a cute name. But for a vampire? Yeah, I, I don't know about that one. See, Lilo and Stitch came out. And with Lilo and Stitch, that name has just been engraved as that is Lilo. There is no other Lilos. I have never seen that name ever used again. The story goes on about Lilo trying to find her long lost father, an elder vampire who's the key to their bloodline lineage. And I'm gonna be real here, the story is absolutely terrible. This game has like the most abysmal story ever. And trust me, trust me, we're gonna get into it later. But I have to give a good shout out to Crunchyroll because they are the publisher of this, a massive billion dollar industry titan for anime was the publisher for this and it they couldn't have like thrown a couple extra bucks to kind of make the story better i i digress i digress one of the first things you're going to pick up on gameplay wise how the art style is honestly i really just don't care for it yeah i mean it might just be me you know i i am kind of a dick but the art just looks really rushed or honestly just somewhat downright lazy at times. It just doesn't really look good. Some characters, however, are honestly beautiful, and the pixel effect on some of the girls is honestly well done. The animations on them are honestly kind of smooth, and they don't look like stagnant sprites, so uh, it's a bonus, I guess. The game character mechanics, however, like most anime games, on mobile anyways, are entirely gotcha centered. The system is spinning on some type of shard fragment system. Um, it's kind of similar to something you would have seen in like games like Honkai Impact, where you have to gather pieces of like, basically little puzzle pieces to actually make the selected character you're after. But the problem is, is that the character pieces are in a giant loop pool of other character pieces, making it extremely hard and time consuming to actually gather that enough to create this character um i'm keeping you real i'm gonna keep it real here with you guys i hate these systems gacha games don't really bother me for the most part i mean i have plenty of gacha stuff on my channel in the first place i mean just look at genshin impact but the whole fragment system making you unlock girls is usually just worse i i really just can't stand this system it's truly made to get you to spend more money just so you can eventually make your way up to getting these girls it's just not worth it to my opinion to even get involved in this stuff speaking of girls the main menu lets you choose your favorite girl to be displayed on the front of your menu most of them are just still images while characters like lilo are animated so i'm um, going through the list you know there's all these different girls but i decided to go with a giant jar of mayonnaise as my main waifu and i honestly couldn't be happier with the results well uh i guess we stalled long enough i guess we should actually look at the combat now and well i i don't really know where to start uh for some reason the developers really didn't understand screen space in this game the rest is just a giant character context menu 
showing the pictures and frames of the characters and you get like a little portion of your screen where the actual combat and battling is going on. Like good lord, I know that you pride yourself in your work, but why just spend so much time on the pixel art if you're just gonna cram the whole game into a box? You can also set the game up to be played in auto mode like a lot of these type of mobile games where you're free to just sit there and watch the little tiny pixel people beat up poor Japanese schoolgirls in the middle of the woods where they're scared and alone. And uh, when you do that, the battles are over so incredibly fast that it's honestly insane. But it's not just the auto mode that's, that's fast. Hell, I don't even know why there even is an auto mode in this game in the first place. The gameplay is just crazy easy. You don't, there's no real like tiny management systems really put in play here with you only simply having to swipe the screen and everyone is going to immediately die. I mean, at first when I wanted to play this, I was trying to set up to have some kind of strategy put in place, uh, pulling out a character to make them do like their own move and then pull out someone else for them to do their own move. Yeah, don't do that. That tactic sucks. Yeah. It, why even bother with select character attacks when you can have the entire team gang up and squad kill everything with a single swipe? I mean, bosses get obliterated in one swipe. It's, it's insane. This game literally encourages you not to use your brain. They're like, no, human bad, human big dumb, robot better. Revert back to monkey instead, thing better that way. The story is honestly goofy, like I said earlier. I mean, you can always get mad at me. Oh, Samurai, it's just a mobile game. You think they couldn't have thrown a couple extra bucks to make it to where the English was just a little bit better and that the writing was more than a group of teenagers attacking fairies in the middle of the woods only for the fairies to then get up after you brutally beat them and respond and act to you as if you've been best friends with them for years. Like, like, why? Why are you helping us? We were literally just trying to kill you. It's not all bad, though. You make progress fast in the game, and it helps you. They help you a lot with giving you a ton of login rewards. The currency system doesn't seem to be that awful anyway. At least not in the beginning. These games usually start off kind of simple with that sort of thing. And ooh, look! Only a couple more days left before I can get me a jar of mayonnaise character. I can't wait to have that as my team leader. Oh, there's also this one girl, but eh, I'm not really in the market for any more waifus right now. So Miracle Whip Man over there will do for now. There's also a full catalog of characters that are in this game. Well, completing a single set will get, grant you a special character at the end. Like, ooh, see, if I, if I get a bunch of angry plant monsters together, I can have a giant penis monster. There, there really isn't much else to talk about. It's just a simple pixel beat em up game with a lot of gotcha mechanics thrown into the mix. I, I honestly would rather just play Rage Shadow Legends. At least the Orc girls in that game are hot. But uh, that's that really just wraps it up. Um, chat will eventually unlock in the game. There's clan stuff. You guys can talk to your friends about whose mayonnaise monster has the best smile and that dull scary face he has but ultimately the game's pretty meh uh the art needs a lot of work the music's kind of stale and my god that man is in the middle of an, a giant explosion happening in his pants as we speak anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know that this is such a random video but i i couldn't help myself i saw it in the store and i knew immediately what must be done either way guys i will catch you guys in the next video and as always away